Okay. So here, uh, now you will understand things clearly. In fact, much in a better way. You know, right? On the top level root directory, we have root directory. We have home directory. We have etc directory. We have temp directory. Many directories are there. Right now, I'm here. Without going into any other location, I want to be here only. But I want to do something in these locations. Yeah, simple. We can do. Just we can give path like this. From here, we can start. Like, let me show you. Uh, I would like to see here. I would like to create a file under temp directory. So ls also we can do. See if you do ls, it shows files and folders in your current directory. But if you do ls slash, it shows files and folders where under top level root directory. Enter. You can see. That's it. So it just give the path. So it will show the things you know in that location. I, so, okay, see, there is a folder called temp. Any folder, guys. Okay, temp folder is a temporary folder. Okay, I would like to create one file under temp directory. Okay, so Sabu, now I want to see what are the files which are there under temp. ls slash temp. You can see. That means it shows files and directory which are there under temp directory. See, so under temp, we have this one. So without going into temp, see here I am doing everything in my current directory. I would like to delete this one. Yeah, simple. rm hyphen rf slash temp. That's it. Press enter. When you press enter, whatever things are there under temp, everything will be deleted. Okay. Now do ls slash temp. Uh, I deleted temp actually. <laughs> Sir, actually I should I should have given like this. RMI from RF temp slash this one I have to give. So that's see always this represents the last one. Since we did not give anything, we deleted that. The last one is temp only, right? So we deleted that temp. Ah, that's okay. No problem here. Yeah. That's just it. We can create directly. Okay, let's see how to create MKDIR slash. Under that, temp. Simple, very easy. That's it. Now ls slash. Yes, you can say temp. Like that. So we can do anything anywhere. We can in fact open some files and all. For example, just you have to remove the path. Okay, I'll I'll show you now. There is one file called password. Ssw. Okay, which is under etc directory, which is under top level root directory. Okay, you are somewhere here, root. You are here. So there is a file called password which is under etc. I would like to open the file. You might be thinking, Sai, how do you know that this file is there under etc only? That I'll tell you for that also we have commands. Find commands are there. We'll be seeing them later on. So if you want to open the file, we can use cat command. So I need to start from top level root directory because etc is under top level root directory, right? Slash etc. Inside we have password, passwd. Okay. See, I'm opening a file. What is the file? This file, which is under etc directory, which is under top level root directory. Got it? You can see. In that file, we have a lot of content. It could be any content. Okay, any content. Fine. Now, uh, there is a command called grep. Global regular expression print. Global regular expression print. But don't remember that full form. There is a file command called grep. So, what is the purpose of grep? Simple. It's kind of control F. So here in this page, I would like to pick a word called DevOps. So what generally we do? Control F. We type the word DevOps. Then you can see it is showing something highlighting in a yellow color. That is how we can find, but we can pick particular word. The same thing I want to do it in Linux. Okay. So for that, we use grep. 
simple as cat etc password this is a file so in this we have so many lines are there but out of this much of content i would like to pick one particular word called root wherever root is sir i want to highlight those words root words simple for that we can use grep g r e you are looking for which word root that's in which file passw but is this in your current directory password file no it is in some other location correct or not so in that case if, if file is not there in your current directory okay then you have to give the path it is under etc where is etc is it your current directory no it is under top level directory if you want to open any file okay if it is in your current directory then you just give the file name if it is not in other current directory wherever it is there you give the path simple guys remember that okay now press enter you can see it is showing that hey sai we have only two lines having word called root you can see that is so we can highlight you know particular word by using grep command okay uh, we have less and more commands are there less more these are kind of cat to open a file we use either less or more or you can use cat also with small small difference are there but you need not to worry no actually not required either you can use less or more or cat to open any file to open mostly we are using cat but just let me show you these two also simple less so which file you want to open password where is this it's not in my current app so it is under etc it is under top level root directory less etc pass now enter you can see to come out of this one press q q for quit q you can see like this more same more etc password same no difference at all okay either you can use cat or less or more. okay now head head means it shows top few lines top for example see head uh etc password you might be thinking sir why are you taking only that file every time guys any file in any location focus is not on which file we are taking focus is how to use this commands not which file we are taking okay you take any file i don't know you know since you don't know about the files and locations that's why i'm taking only one file okay so when you press hide see it shows by default top 10 lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 by default it shows 10 lines suppose i i don't want to see 10 lines i would like to see only top 3 lines hyphen give the number then etc Awesome. Whatever number you give, it, it shows only those many lines. Okay, like this. Same tail, tail, T A L. You don't give any number. It shows bottom ten lines. Okay. See, generally, when we add any content to a file, after adding, that will be added at the bottom, right? just i i want to see what our content i have added recently so in that case if you use cat it shows entire content whole content but i don't want to see whole thing just what i have added i want to see the though that data so that time we can use tail command it shows the what we have added recently it shows up i would like to see only bottom two lines so i found two etc password you can see that is Head tail like you we can use these commands. Okay, very easy command, simple simple commands. Okay, suppose if you want to open any file which is in your current directory, directly you give the file like cat, just file it. That's it. Need not give any path and all. Like this, you can see. If it is not in your current directory, then you have to give the path. Very simple. Okay. now coming to sort this command we don't use guys at all 
just for information only, nothing more than that, not at all so important, okay? Let me create a file, cat greater than sci file. Just I'm creating one file. In that, let me put some content. Just I'm adding some content. You can say I kept some content. Could be any type of content. Control D. Okay, so I have a file in which I kept some content. Now, if I apply sort to this file, then first column is right. First column. First column will be rearranged as per the alphabetical order. Okay, if two lines are having same, like A, uh, D, something. A, B, something. Then if both are same, then it will look for second one. D, B. So this comes first. This second, like that. Okay. For that sort. Give the file name. See, this file is in my current directory only, right? So I need not give any path. Directly I can give file name. Now enter. You can see. See, here. A should come at the top. Then after that, B. Then D. Then X. Then Y, so you can see A, B, D, X, Y, Z. That is so. So if you apply sort, this will be rearranged. But don't think that this modified existing file, no. It is showing just display like this, actual file, sci file, having this content only. Just it shows display like this. Okay. That is so we can sort. Okay. Uh, don't worry, this we use, we don't use much. No, you need not worry about it much. Okay. Now, so now uh, let me explain some shortcuts, guys. Those we use a lot. Okay. We use a lot of shortcuts. If you give up arrow, you can see in your keyboard up arrow, down arrow, these things are there. If you give up arrow, all previous commands will be repeated. You can see I'm pressing up arrow. See it? Whatever we typed so far, all previous commands will be executed. Down arrow, same in a reverse order, you can see. Suppose <coughs> I want to you see uh, tail, I want to apply tail command on etc password, password file. I need not to type the command again. I know that previous file type, but see if you keep on pressing, you can see, yeah, I want to run this command. So press enter. That means you need not to type commands again and again. If you know that you already used, then you can use up arrow or down arrow that you can use. I want to apply sort again on sci -fi. I know that earlier I executed, you can see, sort sci -fi. enter. Like that, up arrow, down arrow. These we use these two a lot. That is one thing. Okay. Second thing, tab key guys, tab key we use a lot. In your keyboard left side, you can see tab key, right? Tab that we use a lot. That means, uh, let me show you. I want to open a file called this sci file. Okay. Not only open, delete or something, okay, cat. Just give first character, yes, and tab. Automatically that file name will come. You can say I'm not typing anything, see? Yes, tab. Like that. Suppose any rm iPhone rf f tab. You can say f tab. So it will come till file only because after that. It doesn't know whether you are referring to one or four. Then you have to mention again manually, either F1 or four. Like see here, cat slash E tab. See automatically it is coming. P A S tab. You can see automatically it is coming. So you give one letter, then tab, automatically that file name, whatever is it, that will come automatically. If two files are there, then it will show both files, then you have to select either of the one. It will be stopped actually if multiple files are there. like, see here, F tab. When you press F tab, you can see, till here it is common, that's why it is coming. But after that, whether you are referring to one or four, so that you have to mention explicitly. Where we use, guys, this we use a lot, like, touch, I'm creating one file, see here. This is a file which I created. Correct, this is the file. Now enter. 
is a file. Now I would like to remove this file. What do you do? RM hyphen RM. You type the file name manually one by one. No. D tab. When you give D tab, it won't see anything. Why? Because see, with D directory one is there, directory A is there. Three names are there. Now just to you remove the confusion by giving one more character S, then tab. See, automatically will come. That is how we use tab. You know, automatically it will be filled. Okay. That for this purposes we use tab a lot. Now let me show you one more thing. I would like to show you. I would like to open sci file A. Simple. You can see how I am going to give tab command. Cat directory A is right. Okay. D tab. It's not coming. Okay. D A tab. D A R coming. A tab. Okay. Inside D tab. Why till D A R only coming? Because one is there. B is there. So avoid confusion by giving B. Then tab. Then D tab. It is coming directly. See inside D tab again. Directly D. inside S tab. You can see that is so. instead of typing. What we can do? We can give tab. When you press tab key, that will be filled automatically. Okay. Yeah, that is how we can do it. <coughs> we use a lot in companies. Okay. <coughs> Next one. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. In Linux. How to copy? See, if you highlight, this will be copied. Anything you want to copy, highlight the text you want to copy. Okay, just highlight that will be copied, and right click that will be pasted. Where that will be pasted? Wherever your cursor is there. If I right click, you can see that will be pasted. Highlight means copy. Right click means paste. Simple. Anything. See, highlight, right click. Highlight, right click. You can see like this. Okay, highlight means copy. Right click means paste. Suppose, see, I want to delete this file. Either you can give ds tab, the big full file name will come, or you can simply copy and paste also. See, see, just highlight till here. Right click, that's it. Enter. Okay, that is how we can do it. Copy and paste. Okay. So this also shortcut we use a lot. Okay. Yesterday someone uh, asked me, "Sai, how to copy content from you know one file and I want to paste into another file? Simple. See, open file. Sai file is a cat. Sai file. Okay. Just highlight two lines. Whatever you want to copy. Okay. Highlighted two lines means copy. Now where do you want to paste? Cat. I'd like to paste in file one. File one." That's it. Okay, so you want to paste me? You need to open either VAR now, okay, or you can use CAD double header. Okay, if you want to append file one, then right click, paste it, enter Control D. Now verify CAD file one. You can see earlier these two lines were there. Now I have pasted this. Like that we can do it. Okay. This is one one more shortcut, and uh, yeah, few more things are there. Those we'll be discussing slowly, uh, one by one when we actually you know when we practice other commands. Okay, few more. But mainly today, how to remember giving path, guys? Very very important. If you understand how to give the path, that's it, guys. Game is over. Game is almost over. Okay, if you know how to give the path, game is over. Very very easy. Okay.